write down the y intercept of f right so as soon as i hear y intercept i'm thinking x is equals to zero right so let's go ahead and substitute x is equals to zero into f of x so if you substitute uh, zero into f of x you're gonna get uh, zero to the three plus four multiplied by zero to the two minus seven multiplied by zero minus ten it's easy here to see that uh, your answer is going to be equals to minus 10, right? So that is the y-intercept of uh, f, uh, y is equals to minus 10, right? We have some coordinate of which the x is 0 and the y is minus 10, right? That is uh, 8.1. Uh, let's go ahead and do 8.2. So in 8.2, we are required to show that 2 is the root of the equation f of x, right? If 2 is indeed the root of the equation f of x, uh, then when we substitute 2 into f of x, we shall get f of x is equals to 0, right? So let's go ahead and see if uh, that checks out, right? Uh, so we're going to have f of 2 is equals to 2 to the power 3. The question is saying that let's show that so we already know that it's supposed to be true right uh, but then we still need to write it down so that we can actually show that and then plus four multiply by two to the power two minus seven multiply by two uh, minus ten right and then if you put that in your calculator you should get f when x is equal to two will give you zero right so that is the root of our equation f of x right uh, moving to 8.3 uh, 8.3 is saying that let's hence uh, factorize f of x completely right so we're gonna have something that looks like the following f of x is equals to x and then we know that 2 is a root of our equation right so we're gonna have x minus 2 multiplied by some function here right we're supposed to multiply x minus 2 by a quadratic function right so let me show you something here we have x to the power 3 right uh, we already have x here so it would make sense to say that we need x to the power of 2 there so that when x multiplies x to the power of 2 we're gonna have x to the power of 3 now let me show you something also we have minus 2 here and then in our function we have minus 10 so what do you need to multiply minus 2 with so that you can get minus 10 uh, that is uh, plus 5 so we have plus 5 right there right now we just need the middle term of our um, uh, quadratic function right let me show you how we're gonna get that so when we multiply uh, minus 2 by x squared right we're gonna get minus 2x squared but then in our equation here we have plus 4x squared you can see that we have plus 4x squared here right so we need to add something into minus 2x squared such that we get 4x squared what do we need to add there it's easy to see that you need to add 6x squared right so that you can get 4x squared right so here we're gonna have plus 6x not plus 6x squared plus 6x we're gonna get 6x squared from multiplying x and 6x right so this is how you can factorize a cubic function but then our question is very specific it says that we need to factorize it completely right so we also need to now come and factorize um at that function that we have there right so f of x will be equals to x minus 2 multiplied by we can open two brackets now so when we factorize in a function like this we're looking for two numbers that uh, when we multiply we get 5 and then when we add we get 6 that is easy to see right uh, that will be plus 5 and plus 1 so we're gonna have x plus 5 multiply by x plus 1 and just like that we have factorized our cubic function completely right uh, let's move to 8.4 let's move to 8.4 uh, it is uh, if it is further given that the coordinates of the 10 points are approximately at 
uh, this coordinate here and this coordinate here draw a sketch graph of f and label all the intercepts and turning points right so when we factorize we end up with our x intercept right x is equals to 2 x is equals to minus 5 and x is equals to minus 1 and we know the y intercept from 8.1 so the, the intercepts we have those covered and then we are given the turning points right so we have all we need we just need to sketch a function so let's go ahead and do that right so let's uh, let me uh, draw the set of axes so we can have our x here and we can have our our y here right uh, let's see let's see what we get uh, so let's start with the y intercept we know that it is at uh, minus 10 so we are interested at in this point uh, let me just take it a bit a bit down uh, so we have minus 10 here and then let's go to the x intercept uh, we have one at minus uh, 5 and then we have another one at minus 1 and we have another one at 2 right so those are our intercepts uh, now we need the turning points uh, we have this first one here which is which says 0 0.7 and minus 12.6 right so let's have minus uh, 12.6 here and then uh, 0 0.7 we can put it uh, somewhere here right that makes sense and then minus 3.4 minus 3.4 supposed to be between minus 5 and minus 1 right and then this one it has a y coordinate of 20.8 so let's have 20.8 yeah yeah so this is a coordinate this is a coordinate and then 0 0.7 and uh 12.6 we have another coordinate there so now we need to go ahead and sketch our cubic function right uh as you can see here we have x to the power three right so our graph should start being concave down until it changes concavity and becomes a concave up right uh so let me sketch that so that you can see what i'm talking about uh, so our turning point is here. We have one turning point here, right? And then we need an intercept there. And then another intercept is here. From here we need to go to minus 10, right? And then 10 at minus 12.6 and then go up and go through uh, x is equal to 2, right? So our function is supposed to look like that. That is how our function is supposed to look like. Uh, so we have uh, the y-axis here, and then we have the x-axis here. So right, that is uh, 8.1. Uh, I'm pretty much sure we got the same thing. And 8.5, 8.5.1. Let's determine the velocity of x for which f prime of x is less than zero. Right. Uh, so what is f prime of x f prime of x is the gradient of our function right so we need to find the values for which uh, our gradient is uh, negative uh, the gradient is a negative when our graph is sloping down right so we can see that it is sloping down in between our turning points uh, right here uh, that is where let me just use a different color uh, so right here uh, this is where our graph is sloping down right so f prime of x is less than zero uh, in that interval so when x is uh, between uh, between what uh, 0 0.7 and minus 3.4 um, yeah that is where our gradient is negative right the last question 8.5.3 uh, we're looking for values of x for which f prime of x multiplied by f and then the prime of the prime of x or the second derivative of our equation is uh, less or equals to zero i'm very much interested in how you guys solved this equation can you please just uh, let me know in the comments